What's up everybody, it's the Kenner Collector here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Hope you're off to an awesome Sunday morning. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button down below. I really appreciate your support. Um, today we're gonna focus on a custom piece I made a few weeks back. I was really excited to add this to my personal collection. It's the Kenner Death Star Space Station playset that I totally customized, repainted, got some custom inserts and all that stuff. So I'm gonna jump right into this awesome custom set right now so here we go and here it is every kid's dream back in the late 70s the vintage Kenner Star Wars Death Star Space Station this was originally released back in 1978 with a price tag right around 18 bucks you can see the beautiful orange background here on this box art a couple of kids playing there with the set and this is my favorite playset in the original Kenner toy line. It has the, the trash compactor, which is just an awesome feature there at the bottom with the Dianoga trash monster. You have four different levels of fun. Uh, you have the tractor beam there in the upper left. You even have the laser cannon that explodes if you're lucky to find one that doesn't have the broken clip inside. And uh, just four levels of fun with this awesome playset. It's a really, really cool piece if you ever get your hands on it or have one in your collection. So let's go ahead and check out the original set here. And here it is, everybody's favorite Kenner playset, the Death Star Space Station. And you can see here I put some of the first 12 original figures um, inside the playset to kind of show what it would look like when you were a kid playing with it. These were all available when this set was released back in 1978. And just the playability of this set with the four levels, it's around 20 inches tall. This was just a mega huge set, you know, especially when you were a smaller kid. So I wanted to create a more exciting version, kind of more movie accurate, dark, you know, empire style version. So let's go ahead and check that one out right here. And here's my custom version. So you see there at the top, starting off with the laser cannon, that's just spray painted in a matte gray, put some black wash over it to make it look weathered, some acrylic red paint there for some accent color. And then you see the Death Star paneling there on the right on the side of the elevator shaft. I just used some neon green acrylic paint and I'll be showing you the, the materials here in a minute that I used to paint this up so you can do it yourself and got the custom more movie accurate sticker sheet and actually the foam in the trash compactor came from Star Toys Restorations. Uh, they have an Etsy store. Check them out. They have some really cool custom movie accurate unique vintage Star Wars you know Kenner stuff. Check them out on Etsy. And then the front two panels, the little card panels that slide in, those are from the Cardstock Cantina, also on Etsy. So check him out as well. And this really completed the look, um, you know, just the all black and just more movie accurate version. You see the tractor beam up there in the upper right has some really cool custom stickers on there as well. So let's show the front. Let's get more in depth on this thing right now. So here's the front of my custom Death Star Space Station. Um, you'll notice those two panels. Really, really awesome creative work by Cardstack Cantina. Over on Etsy, it really looks like the, the outer walls of the Death Star with those panels. Really, really cool. And then again, I just painted pretty much everything in, in matte black spray paint. So I'll show you those materials here, but uh, just kind of the look of the, the front when it all comes together with the paint scheme and then these custom panels as well. All right, so now I'll just showcase uh, some more up close, uh, you know, features video of this custom Death Star. So you see here, it actually has inset little oval shapes. If you look at the elevator shaft on the outside, so you can just put the paint right in there with the paintbrush with that acrylic neon green color. And I think I did two coats on this, so you might even want to do three. So that's how I did the elevator shaft with the neon green. And then you'll see down here the trash compactor. Looks really great with this custom foam that I got. It's uh, kind of brown and black, really, really cool. And then you get up to some of the uh, custom stickers here. 
these, you know, really look like the computer consoles used. And then I love the back of these cardstock panels. You have the uh, Death Star uh, bay right there with the Millennium Falcon in it. Um, you have the detention block hallway right there, which is my favorite part of these. And then you just have the little window looking out into space. I think that's a planet they're about to blow up. <laughs> but uh, really, really cool um, movie accurate sticker sheets um, and the card stock here. And then lastly, just getting up to the top, this is the, the laser cannon that explodes. You can see using the black wash really gives it that uh, weathered um, kind of rustic look to it. Came out really, really nice. Then you have the tractor beam stickers here. These are more movie accurate as well. They come with the sticker sheet that I got off Etsy. And then kind of turning it around here a little bit. Again, the, just the detail on these front panels looks really, really great. And then here's kind of a different view of the elevator shaft. You can actually just use a metallic Sharpie permanent marker to fill in those holes on this. Um, and then I just did an outline on the, the shaft on the left or that portion of the elevator shaft. So again, just the, the inner working, some more, you know, up close video and shots of this custom Death Star playset. So here's everything I used to make the, the custom Death Star playset. Um, I actually collected bits and pieces and bought some repro parts all pretty much off of eBay and Etsy over the course of four or five months to create this entire playset. Uh, I wouldn't go out and buy like a three or four hundred dollar brand new one with the box and then just paint it up. <laughs> so collect what you can, win auctions, find every little piece and part on the cheap so you can put yours together. Once you get it, wash it, clean it very, very well so the paint will adhere to it. And then I use the you know neon green paint there on the left for the elevator shaft uh, Death Star panel look. And then I use the spray paints in the middle. They're nice because it's a paint and primer in one. Um, I think I did about two coats on everything with the matte black and then the matte gray on the laser cannon. And then the red acrylic paint for uh, the red on the cannon as well. And then, like I said, the metallic Sharpie for the Death Star paneling on the front. And then just a couple of nice brushes. Um, and then the, the black wash there, the wash FX from Vallejo Paints. That's what I used as my black wash to cover the... Uh, cannon so it looks really you know weathered and gives it that really really cool look so go out get this stuff source your own you know death star playset piece by piece and you'll be ready to you know make this on your own today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the custom Death Star space station I put together. Now you can go out, buy a few materials, and you can build your own. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. Really appreciate you all tuning in again this Sunday morning. And remember, collect the counter.